Yo, what's up? So for this one, I'm going to be walking through a scuba dive video I just did last weekend out at Anacapa Island. Uh, I'll start rolling the tape and then um, tell you all a little bit about Anacapa Island as we're approaching the island itself. So Anacapa Island was formed about 19 million years ago by volcanic eruptions along with the Santa Barbara Islands and the other islands in the Channel Islands chain. Uh, the island's been heavily weathered over time, and so that creates these really sharp edges that you'll see later in the video, really shaping some really interesting features. So most of the life on the island is actually in the sea floor. There's about 69 species of birds as well. And the Chumash people who came up with the name Anacapa, spelled different in the Chumash language, used to camp out here way, way back in the day. So we're coming up on the island now. I just got the scuba gear on and we're in the water, dropping down. So this first dive was only at about 25 feet. So not very deep dive. We were down for a long time. This was 55 minutes. So you got great, great kelp forest the whole time. And yeah, just a lot of fish. It's pretty okay visibility. I'd say about 25 feet. So you definitely get a really strong tinge of that that watercolor, which is cool. We just saw a little bit of a kelp rockfish there. More kelp, mobbing around. I believe there's another kelp rockfish there, popping up. So there's a couple different species of rockfish that live down here. And they really like hanging around the kelp, really fun to check out. So there's a copper rockfish and the kelp rockfish. Copper rockfish has got a little bit more lines in a gray color. Kelp rockfish is a little bit more yellow patterning on that body. And here we just, the kelp forests here are amazing. So I mean, this kelp's going anywhere from 20 to 40 feet in height. And kelp actually grows very, very, very fast. So kelp grows super fast, anywhere from three to five inches in just 24 hours. Can you imagine if you grew that fast? It would be ama amazingly preponderous. And so actually getting out here on the boat, oh, and here we go, this is a great fish. So that is a sheephead. There's a ton of these down here, really good color. So back to the kelp, that three to five inches in 24 hours. So actually driving in the boat out here, we actually churn up a lot of kelp with the propellers and chop it up. And you feel bad killing the plants at first to get out there for this experience. Then you remember it's growing so fast. In a week, you know, it's growing feet. So it really does come back really fast. And as you can see, there's a lot of it down there. And this is island's been having boats go to it for many years now. And so obviously it's a sustainable system. And this whole island is protected. It's a great national park. And there's a lot of other opportunities you can check out on the National Parks website about how to get out there. There's some kayaking, hiking, and camping, but you have to get permits for all of those, of course. And so yeah, those sheep had really good colors, that black, white, really, really distinct, and they're a pretty good range of sizes, but like most of the ones we see here are around a foot. Some are a little bit more, a little bit less, but mostly around a foot for the fully grown adult. And so that, I believe, is a juvenile sheep head. It doesn't have quite all the coloring yet. And there's a orange fish that we'll see pop up soon. And that is called the Garibaldi. And they're so funny. I love their heads because they kind of have this like scrunched over head. I'll throw in a picture of one. I am. Have a scrunched over head. And they just look like a wise old man or something. I, I really like how they look. And the cow, oh, it's just beautiful. It's like hair. And it's, you know, it's just living. And it's so amazing to look at it. And so there's a little bit of a sea snail in there. There's actually a lot of sea snails that like to hang out in the kelp and it's really cool to check them out and usually they have a barnacle on them so it's just really cool to see that symbiotic life of everything and there's a little sheep head popping through right now and so we saw a couple schools of sheep head like in groups of three to four but mostly these guys were hanging out by themselves which I was kind of surprised to see but again beautiful fish ton of them down there really cool to check them out and so that okay and there's a the Giribaldi right there that little orange guy and so that line, that chain we saw was the anchor chain for the boat, and that's how we find our way down to the dive site. So now we're coming up. We see some of those 69 species of birds, a lot of pelicans here, There's some cormorants. And now we're back in the water at the second dive site. This one, also pretty shallow. I think we hit about 30 feet, and so we just had a sheep head and then a Giribaldi there in the background kind of hanging out. 
And here we go. Here's some good schooling. There's a, one of those rockfish. That is the uh, copper rockfish right there. And then the Garibaldi. More copper rockfish hanging out, checking us out. We're checking them out. These guys, this is, so this is all in a nature reserve. There's a couple spots you can uh, hunt lobsters, but this particular spot, everything is protected. So these fish are pretty comfortable. They know they're pretty safe down there, at least for people. Later, we're going to see a horn shark. And actually reading about the horn shark, those don't really go for fish too much. It's more about invertebrates. And so that was interesting to read about. You know, you think shark and they're just like chewing down whatever. But I'm not too interested in the fish. And actually, I have a couple of pictures of thrown in, bam, of the horn shark just kind of hanging out with the Garibaldi. So that's really cool to see. And actually, it's really fun for me now just saying all the names of these fish. I read up a little bit about it. And... Um, I had no clue what the names were in the water, so it's kind of cool to get those names. Sam reinforced that. Okay, giant sea bass. This, dude, this fish is crazy big. So it's hard to tell the scale, and there's a the lobster. So the giant sea bass, these things can weigh up to 400 pounds. This thing was massive. It was literally larger than the, the person diving by it. In the last video, there's a rockfish. It was, I was, I didn't even know they were down there. So we're seeing all these fish, the Giribaldi, the rockfish, the sheephead. They're okay. They're like a foot tall or whatever. And then boom, out of nowhere, this fish that is larger than a person comes through. And I'm just like, is anyone else seeing? Like, what is going on? And so there's like a little school of rockfish, I believe. That is the proper rockfish hanging out. And so yeah, the giant sea bass, they almost were fished to extinction and now they're starting to come back in better numbers. Really cool to see, really glad to see them coming back. Obviously, first time seeing one, but it was disheartening to hear that they were almost extinct because it is a beautiful and enormous fish. And so this kelp is awesome. You see those roots at the bottom, it's just digging in, holding on for dear life. The current and the swell is very, very strong around all these islands. They're on the Pacific Ocean, obviously a lot of storm swell coming from massive storms out in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean and the polar regions on both poles. And so very, very strong plans to survive in that austere environment. As you can see, all of the white specks, there's so much bird poop from the 69 species of birds. And it's just, it's so cool to check them out. Honestly, the islands look so barren. You know, it's this lava formed island. And there's not really trees on Anacapa Island. You just see all the bird poop. And so I really like this shot. You can see that wave poking up in the middle there. Um, thought it was cool. But just the way it's been eroded created that cool feature. And there's actually a couple other spots like that on the island as we were driving around. They didn't capture all of them. But really cool to see that. Just how the water is kind of interacting with the rock and creating these new things like this right here. This awesome, amazing arch. You got these really sharp features on one side, a slope on the other side, and this big picturesque hole. Really cool. And so this shot is awesome. You can barely see it. There's a baby sea lion. Super cool. We didn't see any in the water on this side of the island. Unfortunately, the swell is too large on the west side. So the west side's the size of exposed the Pacific Ocean. East side's on the California coast. So the west side gets more swell. That's where all the sea lions like to hang out. And unfortunately, this hole is a little bit too big today. And there's two Gerbaldi. These guys look like they're making out. It's awesome. This well, was a little bit too big today to check this out with the sea lions, but I had seen them before. Unfortunately, didn't have the camera, but really cool to see all those guys hanging out. And I love that shot. Okay, here's the wise, wise looking sheer quality. He's like, oh, oh, this guy knows. Like, he knows something that I don't know. Obviously, he's down here in, the, like, the water. And it, it was so crazy coming up out of the water after this and just going to bed the next day just thinking about it. And it's like, I'm looking around. It's like, dang, stuff is way way different down there it's a whole different world it's i can't recommend scuba diving enough it really gives you a perspective on what it's like to be on the earth and be on the land and breathe air and then just think about we have over 60 percent of the earth that's got stuff going down like this and so many so many people i it's so sad that just don't have the chance or don't have the want or the desire to experience what it's like below the surface of the ocean and there's a lobster and their eyes are so cool their eyes are a little bit phosphorescent so they glow a little bit in the dark and really it makes them look like one cool customer just to see that guy hanging out in that rock there anyways hope you enjoyed that was anacapa scuba diving three dives saw a lot of great fish kelp rock fish copper rock fish i'll throw in a picture of the horn shark Brah! got one hanging out with the Garibaldi. really cool sheep heads and then of course the giant sea bass kelp and some sea snails Catch you on the next one.
Jahan is out. 